welcome back to ordinary girl budgets it's your girl danielle and we are here with another video thank you so much for clicking on my video if this is your first time welcome i'm glad that you're here and i hope that you stay and if you are not here for the first time hey girl hey how you doing i missed y'all so much but anywho here we are, nonetheless, with our first budgeting of December. So, today is December 5th, and I know we are on a different page. So, um, I decided to start my videos, my budget with me part one videos um with my bills that i do for the month so first the first bill that i have that's coming up is going to be due on the 16th and it is my electric bill i don't think i'm gonna be able to write on this it's a little bumpy so, my electric bill, I need to get some little things. I wonder if I got some. I don't know. But, anywho, so, electric do. And it is $168. Okay? So, then we have um, on the 25th, which is Christmas, um, my car note. which is 400 and then also on the 25th is my is xfinity and it's ten dollars okay so before the 25th the 21st my phone bill is due And it's one hundred dollars. And then I think that's it for December because my rent is already paid. It was paid November thirtieth. So rent for December. And if it ain't, if it wasn't paid, baby, it's gonna be late because today the fifth. But my rent is paid. But of course, we're gonna start paying, taking out and budgeting or planning for January. So you will see that on my, reflected in my budget with me. Um, the next thing we're budgeting for, I'm gonna flip to January because I'm going to be using this book until I make it to uh, oh, I'm not going to flip to January because I ain't even got no numbers on here. <laughs> but into who, you will see it reflected in my budget with me. Um, January 1st and January 3rd. So January 1st, of course, my rent is due. January 3rd, my rental insurance is due. So you will see that reflected on my budget with me is because... Um, I want to start budgeting for those. So, what we're going to do is flip over here to my budget, my paycheck budget tracker. So, our payday is going to be 12 9 22 and we are budgeting for our paycheck. And we are going to budget for $1,600. So we'll bring that down. So the first bill that's due is electric. I must try to start putting these in order. And it's due December 16th. And we're going to... So, okay, the budget 
is a hundred dollars even though my actual bill i already have it it is um 168 dollars and two cent really we not gonna i had i keep change and i mean i keep money in my account for a buffer we're not even finna budget the two cent okay but um so we're gonna budget for a hundred dollars next is my phone bill And it's due December 21st. And we're going to budget $50 for that. Because, and the reason why we're doing $50 is because it's not due until the 21st. And when I get, we're going to get paid here. So that'd be $50. And then when I get my extra income this week, I can take out another $50. And we can go from there and we'll have enough for um the 21st when the bill comes out so that is, i'm sorry if y'all hear my toilet um so next we have um my car note which is due on december 25th which means i have to pay it early <laughs> So it is um we're gonna pay we're gonna budget two hundred dollars this pay period and yeah that'll be perfect and then also Xfinity is due um December twenty fifth and it is ten dollars but we're not budgeting for that. Um, yeah, I know what. I should. No, 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 no. We're not budgeting for this this week. But it's on here. So I'm it's not gonna be included in my total. Um but I wrote it on here, so that's what made me write it on here, so I won't forget that it's due. And then we're also gonna budget for um my rent, which is due January first, and we're gonna put two fifty in for rent, and then we're gonna budget for renter's insurance, which is due January third, and I tried to look online to see. I don't have, okay, so let me tell y'all something about my renter's insurance. I don't have to pay anything for December. I'm assuming because when I started my renter's insurance in November, I had to pay like 40 something dollars to get it started. And then I was hit with another bill for $36 and some change, like $36.88, November 20th. So, I'm assuming that I kind of overpaid and I don't have a bill for December. So, my next bill is due January 3rd. So, I'm assuming my bill is going to be due around the 3rd of each month. So, we're just going to go ahead and take out $20 because I'm not, I don't know how much it's going to be. And we're just going to budget for 30 because, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much it's going to be. So, I think that's it for what we're budgeting for for this paycheck. So, we got uh, $100 for the electric bill and $50 for my phone bill, $200 for the car note. We're not budgeting for Xfinity, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a line right here because I forget. Mm, $250 for rent, and then $20 for renter's insurance. So that brings us to $620 for our bills for the month. 
So 1600 minus 620 should leave us with 980. Now, 980. Now, y'all, we got 980 left over. I seen, I, don't, I, I have yet to ha buy a couch for my living room. So I found a couch on Wayfair. So I'm going to order this couch. And it's actually um, a, look, a, a sectional and a coffee table. And it's, it says it's 577. So let's go ahead and subtract 577. And we are left with 403. So, again, there be no sinking funds, no extra debt, no extra savings. So, we're going to bring down the 980. And then what we'll do is we'll put um, gas, groceries, and then personal. So for gas, we'll do our normal um, 150. Groceries, we'll do 150. And then we'll do one of, we'll do 680 for personal. And that's including the, for the couch. In the coffee table so that brings us to 980 which leaves us zero left over so that's the plan for um, for paycheck number one of December and hopefully everything goes as planned we may have more money um, left over and you know we'll just see how it goes and we'll see what happens but that's the plan for now and yeah um, I hope you all enjoyed this video I am so glad to be back I am so glad to be back on to my budgeting um, moving has been crazy. I told you all that I have to buy everything. I have to purchase everything. And I've really been trying to purchase the bulk of my, of everything I need. Like things that cost the most, which is my living room, of course. I found a dining room set. Um, it's not nearly as much as this living room set is. But, um, yeah, I have yet to get a TV for my living room. So, I'd have to get a TV for my living room. So, that'll be my next big purchase, but not as big as this couch and the coffee table. And then, I'm going to move to my dining room. Um, that'll be the next biggest purchase um, that I would have to get is my dining room. And then that should be it besides my office, um, for, for furniture wise. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, thank you all for watching and tuning in. And I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you, beautiful souls, on Wednesday. Bye.